Greece against Croatia, though, for the spoils for the bronze medal. Just eight minutes. Konstantinos Kakaris scoring it for Greece. Croatia had a VAR check, which took quite some time to see if it was a goal equaliser. It wasn't. So Greece lead Croatia 1 0 after the first. Fontunis Kakaris and Kanakakis and Skubakis with his first goal of the tournament had put them way ahead of the Croatians. But then Zuvela, Bukic, Fatovic have come up with the goals that make the difference. Will they make any more difference in period three? At the half time, it's Greece five, Croatia three. Croatia won the last quarter, but they just gave themselves way too much to do. Konstantin Karkov, their lead scorer, was just not involved enough. And Greece were able to power their way to victory. All the damage done in the first half, 5-3, and then a 3-2 third quarter. And ultimately, they could just close the door on Croatia, which is what they did for a 9-7 victory. There is great expectancy that we are in for something rather special tonight as Italy take on Spain for the second time in this competition in 2022. And who breaks down here straight away is a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for De Monte. Can De Monte score? Yes, he can. And Granados. Granados gets the early marker for Spain. Are they getting the former? No, because that's another brilliant stop by Aguirre, but he can't do much about that. Italians get the rebound and they put it home and Aguirre always gets cranky I think initially with himself and then with his defense when they don't provide the cover he's looking for and that was the initial stop comes back out and with that corner pretty much exposed Eduardo de Sommer 15 seconds to the Italian returns advances the shot is it going to come back to Menares? No. Peroni. Oh, that's a beautiful setup. What a beautiful setup that was. Terrific work. He will be thoroughly delighted by that. Roger Tahul. It's Italy 3, Spain 6 at half time. We've got the man who don't want to have the ball. That is Menares. Oh, Granados have been absolutely fantastic. And this time, it's Vermeera. Martin Vermeera. Well, it has been the Menares and Granados club so far, but he's just got his membership. He was having a long discourse. Working around, and there is the goal they needed. Cap comes off, crowd goes mad, and Dolce does get a very important goal with 2.56 remaining. Vincenzo Dolce. Marziali. Preciuti looking to press the button, and that's what Preciuti does. 9-9 with 2.03 remaining. Italy three times, three goals behind. No longer. Nicolas Braciotti picks his time, picks his spot, and it's 9-9. Every look for inspiration from whenever and wherever it can come. Granados, <laughs> he got a piece of it. He got a piece of it, did Nicosia. In fact, he put uh, Del Longo in now. Change goalies midway through. This will be Canella. Another against Aguirre. Who gets a big, big piece of it? And that's it. That is it. Spain are the champions for the first time in 21 years. And I think overall, everything considered, they weren't beaten all the way through. They were surely 
as they proved ultimately to be the best team. Gold for Spain.